is my aunt and uncle. I'm going to paint and draw them today and I'd like to share the process with you, so have a look. This is a Beryl Turquoise HB pencil on Strathmore plate finish vellum paper taped down to a board. I've scanned and enlarged the photograph so that I can draw it same size on the paper I'm working on. My reference photo was taken in 1940. If you've never drawn a family member, I encourage you to give it a try. There's something very familiar in those features and somehow that is a little bit easier to get a likeness on. I'm using Windsor, Newton and Graham watercolors and a rosemary paintbrush. This is a sequence of transparent glazes being washed over the figures. If you try this process at home, don't be too concerned with the colors you're choosing. Pay closer attention to temperature, warms and cools. I'm using cooler colors in the hair and warmer colors on the skin because I know that I'll be going back in and adding a colored pencil to this when the watercolor is dried. I've switched to a tiny brush here to start working on tightening up the features. I want some resemblance here, not a perfect likeness, but enough so that when I look at the faces, I know that it's my aunt and uncle. After the watercolor is completely dry, the paper's dried all the way through, I'm using Prismacolor colored pencils and adding uh, light layers and then buffing them with a paper towel to smooth them into the paper. You'll need to have pretty good quality paper to do this. And you'll notice that each time you buff with the paper towel, you'll remove some of the color. But by doing so, you expose the tooth of the paper to be able to take just a little bit more colored pencil. Buffing with the paper towel also smooths any of the rough edges from your pencil marks. Prismacolor also makes a blending pen. It's a felt tip with a clear liquid that scumbles the colors. For this portrait, I'm just using the paper towel. This is a bag of Mars Statler erasers that have been cut into rubber stamps. I'm looking for a particular pattern to use as a background on this piece. I'd encourage you to give rubber stamp carving a try because I made these 30 years ago and I still use them. They're great fun. I'm protecting the portrait with a piece of torn tracing paper and then just using an ink pad to rubber stamp the background behind the figures. This is a fun way to fill in a background if you're not sure what to add to it, especially on a vintage style portrait like this. It adds a little bit of an illustrative or graphic edge, which I find really appealing. After the ink was dry, I added a light wash of watercolor to the background to finish the portrait. So that was my little portrait of Florence and Alphonse. I hope you liked it. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up to let me know. Leave comments below if you have any questions. And if you're curious at all about the materials that I use, they're all listed below in the more info beneath this video window. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.